Hi Taurus, welcome to this reading. I hope you're well. Let's see what's going on. The Five of Wands in this deck, it's called the Five of Inspiration. And I really love that because, you know, the Five of Wands, many of you will know, is a card of sort of too many people being involved, um, conflict, that sort of thing. But even, you know, it's called inspiration. How can we think of it negatively when, <laughs> when it's still inspiring? Okay, what's this? The Hanged Man or the Hanged Muse in the reverse. I hadn't even planned this, but look, my nail varnish matches the cards. How cool is that? The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the Hanged Man and the Three of Pentacles together, I mean, that, that talks about coming out of a period of stasis and wanting to build something new. Now, this applies whether you your connection has never been grounded and committed um, and you would be building from scratch in the sort of the practical sense or you are already in a commitment because it's almost as though your person's wanting to start again to renew things to do something in a different way without all of these extra people over here and in your connection depending on on where you are depending on what's going on these people could be actual people they could be it could be thoughts energy um maybe your person has too many responsibilities that sort of thing you've got the nine of um pentacles the king of pentacles yes yes your person has too much too many people maybe depending on them um looking towards them for stability finances they might be very busy at work they could, of course, be in um, a marriage. The King of Pentacles can be a spouse card. We've got the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, but in the reverse. And we have the High Priestess. Wow, okay. On the back, the Ace of Voices, the Ace of Swords. This is all about wanting to communicate with you. For many of you, you may have had this communication. Um, so let's start with how your person is seeing you as being very quiet, but I'm feeling so strongly they see you as being, you know, I mean, very mysterious, very intuitive. Um, <clears throat> the runes, the symbol, the, the sort of, the rune symbols around here are giving me a really um, intense, quite serious energy. You know, it, it's not just that they think you're maybe psychic or intuitive, but I hope I can find the words for this. You know, the High Priestess, it's exactly that. If we just take a moment to think about the reverence, I suppose, if you know we're thinking centuries ago of someone in a community who was looked at as the high priest or the high priestess you know people would travel for miles and miles to consult this person to um you know hear their wisdom or to get their advice or their insight there's a lot of power here and there's something slightly i'm, I'm feeling slightly intimidated scared um it's, it's, and it's not sort of in a really bad sense, but there is something very serious about this energy, this car that I'm picking up right now. Okay, we'll clarify and, and see what comes out. We've got it with the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, yes, you're very independent. You're doing your own thing. You really don't need anybody. You know, um, if you're around people, it's because you want to be. And you're very content, you know, with your with your life, with what you're doing. And whether this is actually true or not, this is how your person is seeing you. This is what they're um, they're thinking of you. They might know that that for some of you, if you're um, making a living doing something that you really love, or at least it looks that way to your twin or your soulmate, they're really recognizing that you went within. You you trusted that inner inspiration, that inner voice. Um, and that's why you're so happy doing something that you love. And it's like you have this kind of, um, I'm hearing two steps ahead. You're always two steps ahead, I'm hearing now, of the game. So whatever you're doing, um, whatever you're doing for work, um, or maybe health, fitness, everything really, it's like you're two steps ahead. You have this um, hidden knowledge 
I just saw the number 0707, so you might want to have a look at that. Seven is, is perhaps the most spiritual number in tarot as well. So yeah, your person feels that you have some kind of access to, to information or another realm that other people don't. Okay, we definitely need to look into this. Let's um, put this over here to remember to clarify, but let's see what else is going on. Okay, so in a, in a more um, grounded sense, yes, your person is very busy, too many people vying for their time, too many people depending on them, looking at them for things. Um, I'm really curious to see what's what's going to come up when we clarify this page of cups with the hanged man in reverse, because we can see your person has been thinking for a long time about sending you this message. Um, and we know from Friday's video, last Friday, that they were so, so nervous and anxious about this. So I saw at least one comment, someone saying they had that message that arrived over the weekend. Um, if others of you did, congratulations. <clears throat> if it's a message that you like, I hope. <laughs> I hope it was. Um, but yeah, so they're really wanting to reach out, to send this message, to build with you. With the Queen of Pentacles reversed, whether you are a woman or a man watching this, your person sees you as being really solid, really capable, their perfect match, and you're very attractive, you're very nurturing, but you, you're also very business-minded is what I'm getting, whether you're in some kind of business or not, you know, it's just you have this capability, you're very incisive and intuitive. Um, but with the Queen of, of Pentacles reversed, you they might see you as nurturing yourself now you were giving and giving to them you've stepped back you're nurturing yourself which is a good thing um but they might be wondering are you interested in this partnership now so let's go in and clarify because there's a lot here that's really interesting so let's start with this high priestess energy tell us what's going on here please Okay, we've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Queen of Cups reversed. So if you're being very quiet, if you used to reach out to your person a lot um, and now you're holding back, you've definitely got their attention. <clears throat> and they're wondering what's going on, you know, why aren't you reaching out? Why are you no longer bending over backwards for them? They wonder, do you have someone else? But they're also, I'm hearing the word alchemy, they're seeing you as, as having transmuted any pain, any difficulty in such a positive way that you're using it now to, to push forward in your independent state. This is, I'm starting to get a clearer picture of, of what's going on here now. This is why it felt so powerful. Your person is looking at you as bringing together successfully the divine feminine and divine masculine energy. And that's what this is all about. So, you know, if that's what you're doing, then that's amazing. That's the step, really, before coming into union. Um, if that's something that you're after here with your person. Um, but this is, yeah, awe-inspiring. That's what I'm getting, awe-inspiring. So it's not, you know, I was trying to say fearful, but it's not negative. Awe-inspiring is, is what this feels like. You're, I'm hearing you're so much bigger now. They're looking at you and thinking you're so much bigger maybe than when you started talking or when you first met. And again, this is whether um, your connection has manifested in a sort of a tangible sense or not. Yeah, this, they're seeing you as having a lot of, of power, a lot of control. It's almost like you know, you're in charge of the elements and if you want water to stop flowing, you put your hand up, as you can see she's doing here, and it stops flowing. I mean, this is, wow, this is really quite intense. Let's see if there's anything else. <clears throat> yeah, see, look, the Wheel of Fortune. It's like you, you know how to manipulate situations and i don't mean manipulate in a negative sense the words sort of the, the the word manipulate comes from um or the the sort of original meaning is to move things with your hands so if you think about um i don't know a goalkeeper you know they manipulate the ball they grab the ball with their hands that sort of thing so you're able to um you're able to, to direct how things move. And the Wheel of Fortune is big energy here. They might see you as 
as having such a grasp on your own emotions, your vibration, that you're able to keep moving forward in a positive, lucky way. You know, other people would look at you and think, wow, he or she is so lucky, but your person knows you were behind it. You are making this happen. Okay. So your person could be dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius who's quite maybe overbearing and this could be a spouse, a mother, a boss, a friend, anyone really who's of, um, who has a significant influence on your person. Okay, yes, they don't want to revive this connection um, with this person, but they have to make a firm decision to walk away. Your person is being emotionally closed off, distant, maybe um, cold, um, possibly manipulative with this Queen of Wands, whoever she is or whoever she represents. <clears throat> but I do see that your person does need to make that final decision to step away here. What they're doing at the moment is they're not giving, they're not bringing any fresh energy into this connection with the Ace of Cups reverse, but they, they still haven't completely, you know, severed that situation, whatever that looks like. Right, tell me about this Hanged Man and the Page of Cups, please, the Page of Emotions. This actually, um, I'm getting a bit used to it now, but when I first saw it, it sort of made me feel a bit ill, you know, this octopus and, and going through into her stomach. But um, it's interesting because this is in the place where the solar plexus chakra is and you can see it's lit up we have the yellow we've got lots of um nature it's like a wooded area so being in nature might be um, a good idea for some of you and even if you're in a very urban environment and there's sort of there aren't many trees or parks around <clears throat> even just a house plant anything like that yeah the eight of wands reverse so this is um communication via the internet a text message, an email, something like that. When I see this reversed with the clear intention to communicate, it does make me wonder, has there been interference? Has an, an email gone to spam? And actually just to pause, if you have been waiting for an email from me or a reading or something like that, I've, I've responded to everyone. All the readings have been sent out by or on their due dates. So please do check your spam folders. So yes, maybe you're having trouble receiving messages as well. Or um, over the weekend, my sister thought that someone she was talking to had blocked her, um, but it turns out that his phone had broken. Um, so, you know, something like that, some kind of interference. Tell us more, please. I think some of you are wondering, is it this Queen of Wands who's interfered? So let's see, is it the Queen of Wands, please, who's interfered? We have the Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm, let me see again, it could be a yes or a no. And my, oh, maybe it is. For some of you, yes, this Queen of Wands is interfering in your messages. Um, and that could be in the sense of, she knows or it could be a he, you know, depending on your situation. This Queen of Wands knows that your person who's coming up as this King of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or just the energy, um, has their eye on you or someone else, and they keep getting in the way, you know. Can you do this? Can you do that? Keeping your person busy so they can't message you, that sort of thing. Or it could be something as um, intrusive as going into your person's phone, deleting messages, um, that sort of thing. It won't be that for all of you. For others of you, like I said, check your spam folders. Um, make sure there's no one on your end who could interfere. Yeah, see, there is a clear intention here to communicate, but we have trickery. We have this magician here in reverse. I never like the magician in reverse. This is this is someone who's pretending that they are a manifester, that they are in control. In the same way that you are over here, except you really are. This person is wearing a mask. This is all an illusion. This isn't your person. This is it's either an energy, another person. Tell me about this magician, please. Yeah, see, this is someone hiding, the hermit, could be a Virgo, but someone doing something behind the scenes. Maybe again, this Queen of um, Wands energy over here. 
And as I said before, if it's not a fire sign, it's someone who's quite overbearing. And this person knows, they either know intellectually or they feel very strongly that your person is pulling away and there is a painful ending that's impending for them. And they're trying to avoid that. And they're doing things behind the scenes and they're being sneaky. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, this energy, it's not interfering with your person's feelings for you or this connection or, or the action they're going to take. But yeah, it's like a minor annoyance. And I'm looking at the sun in reverse. The sun will always end up shining through. It's just a matter of time. You know, how long until it stops raining? How long until the clouds clear? I'm hearing from spirit, this person is going to be outed, this person is going to be exposed. So they're hidden right now, doing things behind the scenes, but not for much longer. Okay. Yeah, okay, your person might, might see you as... Um, Sort of cutting this connection off, cutting off, um, I'm seeing like, uh, okay, let me try and t tell you what I'm seeing. I'm getting an image of a tube, a clear tube, <clears throat> and it's going into a bed of soil and there are uh, fl flowers, excuse me, <clears throat> plants growing out of this soil. And you've been um, pouring, you know, like um, really healthy, nutritious plant food, lots of uh, nourishing minerals, vitamins, all of those sorts of things into the, the bed, this soil. So the, the plants, the flowers have been thriving. You've stopped doing that. You've cut off this um, supply, supply you've been giving and maybe you're angry now is how your person is seeing you um, because you've been waiting for this commitment or your person has been in a commitment, um, whether it's to a religion, a, you know, like a faith, a community, family, whoever or whatever and you've stepped away, and now they're wanting to build with you, but you know, the queen of, of pentacles reversed, the empress reversed, are you even interested? Are you still angry with them? <clears throat> you might be thinking, I was, I was never angry, but they're looking at themselves, how they've behaved, the, the turns, the changes that have happened in this connection, and they think that, you know, I suppose they're thinking, if this was me, and I'd been treated this way, I would be angry. So they might be thinking that you are. Yeah, see the Queen of, Court of um, Swords? See how she's cutting off this rose? And that's literally the image I was getting of allowing these plants to die because you're no longer nurturing them, but, you know, cutting your person off. They're still intending to come forward and see if a new journey can begin here. Yeah, they, they're, well, they're very addicted to you. They can't stop thinking about you right now. Um, the devil, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. They're wondering if you look at them and you just think of, of them and this situation as being toxic. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, as I said before, if you're already with your person or you were married or something like that, they're wanting a new beginning, you know, to start afresh from wherever you are. If your person is in another commitment, you know, they would like to leave that behind. But it comes back to that judgment card reverse. They do need to leave that behind, first of all. Is there anything you want to tell us, please, Spirit? Let me get another deck. Let me go back to this one. <clears throat> Is there anything else you'd like to tell us, please? See, exactly, the sun, and it's upright. That's what I was saying. It's only a matter of time before everything comes out in the open. It's only a matter of time until that message reaches you, whether it's been sent and it's just a matter of finding out which folder it's ended up in or it's delayed for some reason. It's only a matter of time until this Queen of Wands energy um, has to step forward out of the shadows, you know, and people see what she's been doing, how she's been manipulating things. It's only a matter of time before your person makes that final decision um, to step away from this connection that they're really not happy in anymore. I get the, the sense that this King of Cups, Queen of Wands, they both know it's not happy, they don't want to be together, um, and 
anything they had that was good has just descended into resentment, fear, control, manipulation. You know, it would be better, I think, for both of them, actually, for this this situation to come to an end. <clears throat> OK, so um, the next thing I want to do is pull the Oracle cards. OK. So we will... Um, <clears throat> anyway, I said it like that. We'll get some spirit animal guide messages because they've got some good practical advice in them. And we'll also incorporate an archangel message. So let's see. Okay, so let's shuffle these up and then pull through piles. Um, this reading has felt slightly, you know, I almost feel that the energy that's come out, particularly to do with how your person is seeing you as this high priestess, it's so big. It's, I really feel that I've been hit by some unexpected energy and information here that cannot simply be looked at in one, you know, short reading. I mean... Let me know in the comments if this makes sense to you, if you've been doing something differently, if you do feel like you're starting to work with divine feminine and masculine energy or however this sits with you, however it resonates, please let me know because, I mean, this is, this is big and I'm hoping we're going to hear more about this in future. Okay, so please choose a pile, one, two or three. So this is one two and three if you need a moment to decide just pause the video um, take as long as you need um, so let's see what the piles have to say so if you chose pile one your advice we have roadrunner keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously and we have wolverine you're a lot tougher than you think you are so this tells me pile one that you've been going through something very heavy um, something that means it's very difficult perhaps for you to smile and laugh. Something that has really been testing you here. Um, and Spirit is saying, try to find something to smile at or laugh at, even if it's nothing to do with your own life. Maybe watch a comedy show or something like that, because laughter is the opposite vibration of things like fear, anxiety. Yeah, so that's going to help you. And if you're feeling... Um, sick in any way inside your body, you know, because you've got too much adrenaline pumping around or cortisol or anything like that. Laughter, relaxation is really going to help. And Wolverine, when this card comes up, I always think of this. If you had been, I don't know, say you were 10 years old and someone said to you or showed you all of the things that you were going to have to go through in your life up until this point, would you have believed at that time that you had the strength you know, that you would have been able to get through those things. Often, you know, we would think, no, there are certain things we've been through and um, I wouldn't have thought that I could do that. I only got through that by being there in the moment, taking it a day at a time, you know, that sort of thing. But you have, you, you've, you've already made it through those situations in your life. So you are tough, you can do this. But in the meantime, you know... Um, Try to find a way to be in a more kind of maybe light-hearted place. And if that's not possible with what you're going through, like I said, divert your attention, even if it's just for 20 minutes or an hour. Okay, life review. Yeah, so there's definitely something, someone, thoughts, feelings um, in your life at the moment that, um, you know, it's not working for you. And I'm getting an image of saging. So something saging, setting an intention with a candle, um, anything to release and clear, I think will be helpful. Okay, so it says, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. <clears throat> okay, pile two, humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument or listening. Ooh, and peacock, let yourself stand out and be noticed. Okay, so first of all, if some of you do something to do with singing, music, and you've been thinking of performing or, 
you know, putting yourself out there in some way. I know for a fact that I have at least one singer who watches this channel. You know, this is um, encouragement, confirmation, go for it. But also in a more general sense, you've obviously, group two, been working very hard on yourselves and you have a lot to offer. You have a lot to be proud of. And when I see this peacock card, no one looks at a peacock with all of its feathers up and says, oh my God, how arrogant. You know, everyone goes, wow, and, and wants to take a picture. So people will receive this new version of you or this new achievement, whatever it is, with enthusiasm. So that's really exciting. And also, you know, music, um, it could be binaural beats, shamanic drumming, anything really um, that feels good, exciting, healing for you. And it doesn't just have to be exciting, it could be relaxing, it could be calming, motivating. And if you think about sound, sounds are the first thing we hear when we're in the womb. Um, so sound is it's actually really important and sometimes we forget that. Okay, let's see what your Archangel message is. Oh, you know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Yeah, some of you for group two, you have an idea, a thought, something you feel pushed to do. And this is this whole... Um, these messages here the whole overall message is saying go for it okay so group three. Oh, look at this owl hawaiian owl i think it's it's pronounced pueo perhaps um your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now so pay attention to signs and omens from them okay so a very specific message your ancestors are trying to connect with you Ah, perfect. I was just going to say, being in meditation helps you to receive these messages. And we have Kiwi. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. If you can't do a walking meditation or you just don't really want to leave the house or you don't want to do that, do try to make time to meditate because that's going to help you to feel, you know, it just helps you to clear your sort of 3D mind. So you will notice when these signs, omens, messages come through. But yes, pile three, your ancestors do have something they want you to know. So maybe do a quick search for meditations to specifically help you connect with them or find perhaps videos on ancestor spirit guides, that sort of thing. And let's see what your archangel message is. Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So yeah, as I said, meditation will help you to find that peace. Okay, and I've just remembered on Mondays we do our spell cards. So let me get those. I'm sorry this video is so long. Hopefully that's okay. So with these cards, you can use them exactly and follow them exactly as they are. Um, you can use them for inspiration, um, you can do nothing with them, it's entirely up to you, but let's get a message for you. Okay, Okay. so we have love spell today. Let me focus this. Okay, nowadays you can buy, oh my goodness, this always comes out, lust dust. Okay, nowadays you can buy body glitter almost anywhere, whether it is baby powder, body glitter or the edible honey dust sold um, by the inimitable Karma Sutra company, get a powder that feels comfortable on your body and add the following to it. One drop of amber oil, one drop of vanilla oil, one teaspoon of lotus root powder, quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Stir or shake and let it dry out before stirring again. Stand naked and gently rub the powder all over your body. All day or night, your skin will feel tingly and ever so slightly warm. Notice the interested glances wherever you go. Right, so this is obviously, in a general sense, highly impractical. So work with this however you see fit or take from this whatever you like. But this card it comes out more often than any other. So it really must have some kind of relevance here. I mean, it sounds almost sort of, extravagant and maybe a bit silly but hmm it keeps coming out um so there's something here yeah let me know let me know if you do anything with this how you're going to modify it if you work with this exactly as it suggests or kind of how you interpret it how it relates to you okay so let me check the last thing I wanted to do, because I think it was talking about being a dream master. 
yeah, we've covered everything. Okay. <clears throat> so like I said, whoops, sorry, this morning before I sat down to do this reading, I felt guided to talk about the fact that those of you who are struggling with sleep could be struggling because you're dream masters. So if you wake up and you feel absolutely exhausted, you, you feel emotionally, mentally and physically drained, like you have literally been traveling around all night, even though you've just been in bed, it could be because you're a dream master. So what, what does this mean? So for those of you who don't know, when we are in between incarnations, when we're in soul form in the spirit realm, we take on particular kinds of training, just how we do here on earth. And one of these trainings is, is called a dream master. And what you sign up to do is travel to one of the 14 spaces. So there are seven positive, seven, seven negative spaces within um, <clears throat> not just this universe, but really across many, all of them. And you agree to go there at night through astral travel, which in itself can be exhausting, and help other people, other souls who are incarnated to live out experiences. So let me give you something specific. So, okay, let's say um, I'm walking along the road and someone, I don't know, throws a rock at me and I'm really angry and upset about it. And I know who this person is, I know where they live and I would love to go and stab them, but I can't, you know, because I'll get arrested. So when I go to sleep at night, I have a dream and in this dream, I see this person and I confront them and I get to live out this experience of obtaining my revenge. So what your role in this dream is as a dream master, you are this person, you are the person that I'm taking revenge upon. So you're kind of performing this almost selfless service, allowing me to have an experience that otherwise I can't have in the 3D. So that's great. I wake up and I, I, you know, maybe I found catharsis. I'm feeling happy. You know, I got my revenge. How do you feel when you wake up exhausted, drained? You know, you felt all of my anger, my hatred. I've taken revenge on you, not you specifically, but you know, you're performing that role. Um, but when you wake up, often you won't remember this. You won't remember your dream because it wasn't meant for you. You won't remember what happened in it. All you know is that you feel completely drained and exhausted. Um, so what to do about it? Set an intention with your higher self, something along the lines of my higher self, I'm setting the firm intention to only do my work as a dream master in the astral planes, as long as it does not impact my restful and regenerative sleep, something like that, you know, whatever works for you. And if you like, write it down to really ground in your intention. Um, put it by your bed or do whatever you feel guided to do with that. But do set an intention if you feel that this applies to you. Um, if you might be traveling here, there and everywhere at night because it's no fun waking up exhausted. And I did feel this morning that that might be happening for many of you. Okay, so we've got to the end. Well done if you're still here. Thank you for sticking um, to the end, if you did. Um, I hope this helps. On Wednesday, we'll be back with another reading. We'll look at messages to you directly from your divine masculine or your soulmate. <clears throat> but otherwise, um, let me know your comments down below. If you liked book a reading, uh, you can do. The link to my shop is in the description box. Um, but take care and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.